but we're using this so when people land on it, they're like, oh, it's a real company. Look at those hats coming off. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> How much do you think we could bill somebody for that? Like a thousand bucks, two thousand, five thousand? That's what do you easy, think? like two grand. We're making a website. I don't know what that's going to look like yet. So I guess we should just get into this. Oh, that, that looks does. so cool. That's what's about to happen. It's hacking time. Yeah, baby. We got the, we got it. We got it. doing good greg how are you i'm doing okay today awesome this is gonna be a good day agreed so we took a little bit of a break from the maga stuff because there's big things happening behind the scenes and uh, oh i gotta turn my lights on i'm so sorry i'm dark um there's big stuff happening behind the scenes and we're trying to get some of this stuff wrestled up so what we're setting up is uh uh let's just let's just throw it out on this document we're making a website for uh, Omatum Studios. And Omatum Studios is our venture. So this is the Omatum Studios logo. Uh, I like it. So we had, to, we had to contain the word Omatum and the word studios inside of the hex because of reasons that I, I, I don't really know. Greg, you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna make a gentleman's bet for how many times Illustrator will crash on you today? Sure, I'm gonna go with two. You're gonna go with two? I'm gonna go with three. Notice how neither of us went to zero. Correct. <laughs> yeah. How much faith we have. <laughs> zero faith. <laughs> but the general idea I have is like we would take the color of these uh, sides, right? Um, and these these sort of, uh, what do we call them? The angles, the, the faces of this, um, the shape. And we will find out a good starting point, which might be like halfway through here and then the full side for this one and then do this we'll bring um lines down like this and then bring them in like this and same thing for over here bring them in bring them in So it's almost as if the logo is like a CPU. Yes. So you're thinking like this is sort of like we draw out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. The, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Hold on. Yeah. I think we just got to try it. So we're going to, these lines have to, uh, they have to kind of like meet on these points, right? And then. Just Correct. Yeah. They here. have to be straight. Yep. And one pixel stroke width so you can actually see it. Yeah. And then I'll go down and we'll make a. Uh, Let's use some magic number for this. Uh, we could do 13. That's an unlucky. Uh, 18. 18 is lucky. So it's a it's a thing that's in Gamatra. Uh, so eight, one plus eight equals nine, and that's apparently a lucky thing. All right. So that would maybe be the final thing, but it's got to. We're thinking it's got to get wider at this point, at this in, internal point. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, because right now you have that falling in effect. And the other thing you can do, depending on how much of a design ticket you want, you can also use color, um, a lighter straight line with a brighter inner line to give you the, the, the feel as if it's, it's, it's getting more illuminated as it comes up. That'll add some depth to it as well. Yeah, I think that might work pretty well too. Just like a little, a little difference between the points. It might be hard to do that. Um, yeah, I don't know how that'll work. With the, the animation. SGN. Yeah, it's going to be a trade-off, one or the other. Yeah. I might be wrong. <laughs> As I go to do it, it just doesn't do it. I'll just do this. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing we've got Noah here telling me how geometry works. <laughs> be here for like an hour. Like, why does it look, keep looking like it's going backward? Well, we at least need some point of it right here to get smaller before it gets. Yes. 
Correct. Gotcha. If you want it to look bigger, then you just take your 18 straight lines and it'll essentially... Um... Why don't I know this stuff? <laughs> like, I, went, I so... went to art school. <laughs> like, I, I have, I've drawn like two point so that... and three point perspectives. I've I put a city on a turtle's back as my final project. Like, uh, right. like this. Now we're doing it. Right now we're doing yeah, it. As exactly. soon as that line... The, the angle needs to be opposite. Exactly. Jeez. Yeah. We have to keep these spaced out because if we do a distribute, it'll it won't care. It'll just move these things into a distributed pattern. There we go. There we go. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. And now we get the you get the full tunneled effect. And obviously this is probably too bright, but we're just designing right now, so we'll bring the yep. value that way down. Um, and let me see, let's just see what happens if we really shrink this down. I'm cool with where it is right now, but we haven't really done that on purpose. Uh, so let's see what happens if we do move these things in with a purpose. I'm gonna have to move this a lot. Loud keyboard, just smacking up against things. I have met people that do use tools you wouldn't expect like InDesign and yeah. it works really well like because yeah. it's all set up for it. There was a site out there, I, I don't know the name of it, but when you hit it, it's like absolute insanity because it's all done in WebGL, but it's like a fully functioning website that's all done in WebGL and everything is in like weird perspective and 3D and I don't know, kind of it's super weird, yeah. It's like it's cool and it's super weird. It's all video and stuff like that that just kind of plays in sequence. Okay, and then we have to align this over. Get it. Got it. Okay. I think what we do is we use the, uh, I gotta open up the library. We'll use the brand color for that thing. Yeah, for sure. Just make it like 50% opaque. So you should be able to clone that and rotate it for the left-hand side then, right? Correct. And then we just have to do a weird one for uh, the side units. We'll, we'll, I think we can use the same shape, but then it's just going to be a matter of getting it. There's going to be some weirdness to get the shape correct. No, we'll just easy mode this over to the other side. Wait, which one do you just do? I'm doing this guy, uh, the green guy. Oh, okay. Greeny boy. Oh. It almost, this almost kind of reminds me. This has like a heavy, like Tony Stark vibe to it. The way that the line works. Tony is. Stark. It. it looks like his chest. Oh, oh that looks does. so cool. I so ooh ooh. That's a shirt. That's a that's a that's a shirt design right there. Ooh, somebody put a copyright on this. So yeah, the idea would be we'd put the stream behind this, and then do some sort of patterning to uh, clean the image up in front of it, so this doesn't ever sort of lose its its. So question for you. Shebang. Yeah. So if we were to take our Omatum Studios cube in a cube in a cube thing logo, and put a red live banner on the top part of it and swap that out for the image. And if you hover over it. Sorry, I was in the middle of trying to mute things. Say that one more time. So let's try the blur. Um, I'm definitely think that's a good one. Blurring video in real time. Is that? <laughs> that's an interesting question. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Is that going to turn a computer off on somebody? Like, <laughs> It might. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking the, the span spin up. Yeah, let's take a look at CSS filters just to see what other things there are available in the space of that. Blur, yes. Uh, there's the grayscale. Is that it? There's just these one, two, three, four, five of these? Is that... Okay, there's a little bit more. Um, you can hue rotate, invert, pass the saturate sep se why sepia? Did somebody really fight for that? Ah oh, yeah, make it make sure the sepia's in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. It looks almost like a rose or something, like a flower. Let's see. Nah, if, I'm still going with Arc Reactor, man. I think what I'd like to do is sort of like these come in linearly. Um they draw in right to left or left to right from their endpoints. They draw into the hex. Um, and then this background image will flick on like a TV. So you'd use a opacity curve that looked like this. It started at zero, you bring it up, drop it down, and then bring it all the way up. And then maybe down a little bit. That's like a TV powering on. So 
I did, I used to do a lot of animation work, man. Like this is like my my whole thing, day in day out for a year, uh, maybe like two or three years. So this is the kind of, I love this kind of stuff. Whenever I can, whenever I can fit it in. So now that we've done the crazy <laughs> craziest thing we could do up here, um, could we go down and uh, make the rest of the site make sense? I hope so. I'm, I, the reason, uh, Shiro, I'm, I'm a little worried about doing the cube because the cube is an identity piece, right? So you're like, we'd almost, it's almost like sacred. You don't want to go too, too crazy on the identity piece. Is there no modifier I can click to make that not round everything at once? God. $8 billion application right here. So there was a time when I used to make all these icons from scratch, and that time has passed. But for, for purposes now, I just don't care. Uh, that's that's interesting. It's more like the little tower. It kind of looks like a person without any arms who's radiating. He's like a superpower is to broadcast. All right, so now I guess we got to figure out the rest of this, this pig. So now we're going to draw out the rest of this thing. So I guess we have to think through how much of a check we want to write ourselves here. And we also have to think through do all of these things makes sense to share a head, header system? Um, or is this more like an indication of section? I think the one thing I would want to call, if I were calling something out, if I were to say something should be removed from the visual flow, it would be the job section. So I almost want to try that first and just to get that out of the way, um, move it to the bottom and, and kind of just get that done. You know what the hardest thing about hiring these jobs are? The person's gonna have to like genuinely like me. Oh, well, yeah, of course. That's the hardest part for me is like you could get somebody who's like, I just rub them the wrong way and like, that's it. And like, they got to watch five hours of video with that every day, at least. Uh, that's not how you spell that word. <laughs> ah, Crace had the good one. Career opportunities. Omatum opportunities. But they're not. <laughs> I don't know yet. Op opportunity okay that's a huge word the marketing department what marketing department you, i am the marketing department right now Shiro. <laughs> like, i am the marketing department so we need a couple of things here we need um the positions we're hiring for let's say i'm a, I'm a perspective person who i'm looking at the video editor position if i click on this modal how do how do i see i see the job description sure but then how would i apply we'll put it right underneath this I think that's that's the way. Dude, I don't know why my house is so warm. Where do we go from here? I mean, I guess you could, if you clicked one of these, how much, let me grab one of the job descriptions and just see. So how long have we been working on the company product? Well, the products that we're working on on stream right now, we're only like a 10 days in or nine days in. Um, but we've been streaming now for two years ish, but I took a year off. So I took a year off. I had a lot of crap go down in my life and, uh, just, this was the easy thing to like put on hold and we weren't looking at it the same way that we do look at things now. Um, but my company Omatum, uh, it's been a company for five years or so. And it is, uh, gone through a lot of different, you know, changes and phases and the whole shebang, man. It's kind of a weird thing to talk about because we, we went through a phase where we were legitimately trying to get funding and pitching and all this kind of stuff. And then it, the phase that we're in now is more like we're just building stuff out for fun in a sense. Like it should have a monetary thing, but it's more or less just for fun. I think that this is, this is, this is workable in its current little state. Like I think that this provides like enough to get started with. Um, and then if we decide it comes out and you got to, you know, redo this, um, it's not gonna be a lot of redoing. Why don't we go ahead and add some more angle points? What would happen? Ooh. Oh, wow, it just looks so good. Like you have to structure it the right way. Cause there's, there's three lines here. It's not, you know, it's not one big one. You just have to get them to touch each other. That sounded weird. God, it looks so cool though. When they have to write another chapter in the design books, I hope this one gets in there. The, the, the Tron design style or whatever. Good on that section. Um, what's next? 
so what, what are you what are you thinking for where to find us how are you thinking like leveling that out so i'm kind of thinking 50 percent twitch 50 percent youtube and then who cares about discord <laughs> like, like it's almost one of those things i see it sort of being maybe 40 percent 40 40 40 10 40 40 20 i almost want to have like a little bit of a a write-up on each one of these things that says like this is what we do here this is what lives here whereas on twitch i mean discord we have people in our discord but we don't we don't really have a it hasn't the discord hasn't come into formation yet we better bippity bop the heck out of this then yeah we don't these ones are easy where to find us yes it's 4 30 p.m You better bippity bop it. <laughs> what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of saying is that? <laughs> okay, where to find us? Um, Twitch purple and YouTube red. Six four four one eight four. There we go. Is that for real? They're red. They were just like just yeah, set it off. The red is literally just red. Set it to the pure red. I really hope we can do this. I've never actually done these corners in a uh, in CSS before. Oh no, it's in danger. <laughs> so take it out in CSS four. No, you get rid of them. I don't even like it. Have you guys ever? Do you know what the YouTube? I'm gonna put it in there just so we can see this monstrosity. Yeah, once you hit a certain milestone, then you can get cool little customized links. Yes. But we can't do that yet. <laughs> so Correct. if you guys want to, if you want to help me out, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go do it. Unfortunately, my slash name at YouTube is UC06DT8ABYFXKXXIBEWE uppercase QC uppercase ULQ. That's my slash name over at Omatum. It's, it's pristine. Pristine. Look at it. Do not touch. Put a big giant lock on it. Never touch that unless we have to clean up the SVG. And hey, Noah, how's it going, man? I'm doing good. You doing good? You feeling good? I'm feeling great. Good. So this next section is, well, first save it. Next section is just the little what we do piece. I think it's a little diagram. I think it's just this little fun diagram where we somehow maybe do like little circles for each one of these things and then the words underneath it keep it simple yeah it's kind of like it's almost like a like an assembly line style yes you got it. Type thing. Yeah, yeah you got it yeah. so let's just think if it's gonna go make real world software launch businesses make high quality stuff because we're high quality people <laughs> okay and then like a little pipe that would go to this is being done live and then another little pipe that goes over and says like we archive and sort it or something Okay. Punch it. Momentum Studios is a media content network that creates high quality software with the feedback of a live audience. What we might do is italics on top of the punch. I just, I'm going to try you one. Know, at least you haven't called them boys yet today. Don't tell me. <laughs> Let's get some of those circly boys in now. Let's have a little circly diagram boys. Okay, let's grab some icons from Flat Icon. The problem is where we get into icons is like these things, you want them to all look the same, but why does Chrome think? Well, it's nice to see that Chrome can open SVGs now, but truth. don't they think I have another thing that I maybe want to open that with? <laughs> No. Didn't at one point I don't remember. Didn't at one point Chrome when they when you tried to open an SVG, it like showed you like the actual SVG code instead, like a, like yeah. XML style. Yep. Yep. That was intense. That was a weird call on their end. I see a lot of design. I think is just it's sort of just moving stuff around. Like <laughs> it doesn't know boils down to. Oh, for sure. Moving Absolutely. stuff around. If you know how to code stuff, it helps because you know where the limit. Is. You know what the. You, yeah. you, you almost like you know what the dumb decision is you know what the thing that yeah. you could do to make your life harder is but could we just do like that because it's yeah the, i think that's probably pathway. better yeah, yeah. Let me two just, to one and then yeah. from there you can do the another two column for archived and distributed or archived edited and then launch real businesses is on the far right 
Yep, exactly. Yeah. This just got harder to do, but it's okay because it's gonna be better. This is like my hallmark. It's the. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I, I think well, I think I've been with you through like four different designs so far, and we pretty much have the same idea for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, immediately like that oh, the that's signature. the one. Okay. It's either gonna be like crazy angled, cool little lines, or a bunch of dotted circles on a pipeline. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cataloged. I don't know what I'm typing anymore. Let me get rid of this one. Oh, and I'm putting this into Twitch chat so we can fix it in code. The spelling for cataloged. Even if you put it there, it's never going to get fixed. I don't know how to spell that word. Cat Truth. Log the good. Log you. Yeah. Kind of log you. Put the U after the G. Is that, is that French? Looks so weird. Why am I changing this like this when we should be doing other stuff? Two words. Move on. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think? I like it. What else do we have to do before we can dev this sucker? Because I think that was the last piece. How to apply. Why do we have nothing? <laughs> we, here's the jobs we have. <laughs> you don't worry about applying, though. Cause yeah. There's so no we probably to... need, like, the, the, the big call to action, like, hey. Yes. Why don't give we us your just resume. stick this as a third item here? And then, yeah, you could, yeah. Yeah, highlight it, yeah. And do we want to talk about projects in this yet, or are we going to wait till later? I think we're going to wait, because I think we we came up with a good system for the projects in the doc that we have. Yeah. Um. But for now, like, what's the big deal? Yeah. Like, I think this is, I, can we do a can we do a render on this real quick so we can see what the whole thing looks like? Yeah, let me render it. Do you want me to throw it in Discord? Yeah, you can toss it in Discord. That's fine. Because <laughs> look, look at this. Look at this. It stopped. There's, it's, it's dead. Wait, is that our first crash of Illustrator today? Number one? Yeah. Oh, we got some funkiness. Things are happening down here. Oh, geez. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, so has it crashed? No. <laughs> it hasn't crashed. We just lost the dialogues again. Just for that one thing. So let me just save it and then... Yeah, just save. <laughs> I mean, we just did save it. I'm just going to double save. Okay, then, then, then we're okay. Although I do think if we wanted to, we could... Let's do the dev. And then if if this section feels weird, I like the idea of repeating this set of elements yeah. for this. And then going yep. to Twitch, YouTube, and then doing this same thing right here. And say like other places. And it's going to be like Discord. and Just things that we wouldn't have descriptions for. So that dialogue window that's supposed to come up. It's gone. So it's not really a crash. This is just a good old fashioned illustrator bug. So I'm hitting escape to try to get out of it. Imagine if it didn't actually save. Oof. <laughs> I would just. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, you better clip this real quick. Yeah, <laughs> you I would gotta go back. <laughs> flip my table over, just be done. So we just have the big guy up top, which yep. uh, we're gonna have to package this correctly. And then these guys, and yep. that icon will get used twice. We'll do all the icons as SVGs, although I'm not always a fan of that because they don't always render correctly. Uh, the reason this is coming up is because these types of things, these SVGs, um, when you bring them in with .svg as like an image, you can't talk to them. You can't set CSS right. and you can't animate inside and all these kind of things. So one of the workarounds that like you'll find in like server side rendering languages is you'll have this little thing that you, you know you can throw in there so for like you could use like file get content or you could there's even stuff for like ruby gems that do this they'll bring it they'll take it off the server and embed it and also you can like tweak stuff on the way in uh so this has to come in as svg code now what we could do is we could just export the code and paste it in that's what the server is going to do anyways so i guess we could just do that man the main trick here is you've got to use the layer names and you've got to use grouping. So we have a group here that's just this logo. And if we wanted to do anything with different elements in here, we're not going to be able to in the current state. And what we would call this is maybe like hex 
logo. And by naming the layer here, we can export this as an ID. Um, so the ID is gonna come out, like it'll literally be in the SVG, it'll be called X, X logo. Okay, what I'm thinking is if I had to look at this, I would say three hours. Uh, okay. I think that's about right to me. Um, I think where the weeds are is more like this thing here is probably gonna be more work than this thing here. Yeah. Because this thing is just a big SVG we're gonna drop on and, and we're gonna be good to go. And we're gonna do some animation sequencing on this and maybe take an hour to dial in the animation sequencing and then we're moving on. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, I totally forget how to develop things. So <laughs> let's, let's hope this works out well. Pre-process, okay. So pre-process is a lazy mode version of using like things like Gulp and Bowser to pre-process things, pre-process things uh, at the project. And it's great at it. So let's do a quick hello world. I actually don't remember what the heck you're supposed to stick in there. What is that? <laughs> what stick is where what? In the HTML. Oh, it's just like doc type. Yeah, I forget the dang stuff though. Yeah, like the, the root. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The root structure crap. Yeah. Yeah, I normally ignore that 99% of the time, so. <laughs> That's why your sites break. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but uh, that's okay for me. <laughs> that's why they just don't work. <laughs> so IBM Plex, let's figure out if that's hosted somewhere. So we're using Mono and we're using Serif. Uh, so we're about to we're about to stick about a megabyte into this thing. Nobody say anything because I don't care. Uh, customize this, give it all, everything. Oh shoot, we hit the. Now we're red. <laughs> oh geez, so just keep adding, keep it coming. Okay. So, let's do a little texty wexty. Mm hmm. I think that's it. Looks right to me. Okay. So, we got that in. And now, now's when we slow down a little bit. <laughs> and, like, and, like, don't be dummies about this. Our top piece is going to start with the hero. So, we'll just call that hero. Inside of the hero is going to be the video container and then the actual SVG. I I can't, this is all muscle memory right now. <laughs> this is all muscle memory. Uh, we probably want to set a couple things on the body to uh, make sure no weird stuff happens. So I'm going to do a separate thing here and just say width 100% and then position relative. And this is where we get into the woods. So I've got to jam this whole illustration in right here. I don't think that there's like a way to do this unless I'm totally wrong, other than just grabbing this code and um, pasting it in. So I'm just gonna grab that, paste that in, and we'll just hide it. Cause at least Sublime has the ability to kind of, well, as long as it's stabbed in, it'll hide it. Now I get to say I wrote like a thousand lines of, lines of code today. The code could be tidier. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I mean, come on. Personal preference stuff, man. We need to make an animation sequence now for that guy. Yeah, uh, before we put the video behind it, that's what I want to focus on. So first, let's see if we can take the hero and we're going to background color that black. So we have a clean slate to work with on that. So that's a little bit taller than it's supposed to be. You can see this. And so, so that's the right size. The illustration is the right size, right? So why is that? Where is it getting that extra space from? Oh, the section's taller. Oh. So do we just get rid of the height? There we go. <laughs> that's thinking with portals. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> like, that's the relative thing that we were freaked out about. Okay. All right, so let's see if we can do some funky stuff here. So I want, us, I want this to have the appearance of being drawn in. So we're gonna start, the start state for the hex group is gonna be no opacity so we'll get rid of that the red group blue group magenta group green group and yellow group and orange group will all get the same treatment but what we're going to do right now is just make this all one combined piece of css there's better ways to do it but this is how we're doing it i want that on a bumper sticker like that i slap on my desk so what we're going to do is we're going to try to do this sort of like animation thing um where they draw in. Now, there is a kind of a way to do this. We can, I don't know if I have a plugin that knows this, but we can kind of take a guess on how big those lines are. And then we do a line dash on them. I gotta remember how to do this. Um, 
I gotta, I should probably just look at something else I've built that takes advantage of it. So stroke, dash array, and then dash offset. Now essentially what you're doing is you're saying like, I want dashes that are this big and I want this much real stuff and then this much uh, space in between them. And then the offset needs to equal these two things and it will loop if you do that. Uh, but this is a cheap way that we can probably achieve it, uh, an effect where it looks like it's drawing in. Dash rate, and we're guessed about a thousand. So if we want something that's a thousand to start and then at the end a thousand, I'm not hitting anything. Crap. Let's take a look at these paths. Oh, wonderful. They're, they're polylines. What in the world is a polyline? <laughs> what in the world is a polyline? Why isn't that a path? Do you think Illustrator 2020 CS or SVG export changed up how it used to work? I think that it must have been upgraded to the SVG spec because SVG is supposed to be hitting SVG too. Oh, could be, yeah. Good yeah. point. That definitely hit it now. So we can pull back stroke width. Okay, and now it's what it's supposed to be. And now, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it did animate. See that? So we're gonna wanna add an animation. We'll call it draw in. Uh, we'll set it to five seconds so we can watch it linear. It only happens once and we'll see if it's in the right direction. If it's not in the right direction, we'll change it. Guys, I hope if you're, if you're getting started in this stuff and you're watching me do this, I've been doing this stuff for 20 years. Okay, 20 years of my life. Like at least, I was thinking about like 25. I've been doing 20 and getting paid. I go on Google pretty much constantly because this stuff doesn't stay in your head. The idea on how to do it stays in your head but the whole like what code do you write to do it no it just doesn't it just goes away after the project this is the where you want to go you want to go to mr uh mozilla because they have the like most unbiased unopinionated up-to-date stuff so we're just going to see so we just have to write a statement like that which is that keyframe slide in the from is where the animation obviously starts and then the two is where it ends but really i mean like i i think when i ever i see those like what do you call it? Like the, the coding challenge things. I, I just shake my head. It's like when, what kind of thing is that where you would stick somebody in an interview and then be like, Hey, write a binary search or something with the information that's inside of your head. That's just ludicrous to me. We're going to set the stroke dash offset to zero as a starting state. What we need to do is we need to have the starting state rather be it's off screen. You see how it's coming in. So if we set that to like a thousand, they'll come in even more. And that's what we want. Okay. What we should be watching is this thing draw in one direction or the other. Okay. So that kind of like pops in. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. Well, that blew my mind. I love this. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. Yeah. The real question is, do we really, do we want it to draw in from the outside as we're seeing it? Cool. Okay. And we could have these like go in sequence. We could, but let's, for now, let's not do that. Now, does that thing come in and then in comes the logo? And let me try a different animation curve too. So yeah, let's try this ease in out. I usually like that. Um, ease outs are nice too. Maybe the ease out would be the best play, but we'll try the ease in out. Got to refresh it because editing in that, that, that end state. You see what that does? It kind of comes in quick and then slows down at the end. So you kind of get a faked thing of the distance being traveled. I think that works. Now the hex logo, I want it to, I want to see if we can bounce it in. So let's try that. Whoa, you guys see that? <laughs> oh, well now it does it fine, of course, of course. So if we get rid of, watch this, if we get rid of transform origin center look at what it does it just like comes out of nowhere we stick it back in whoa, whoa. <laughs> just like <laughs> it's like it, <laughs> that's so stupid <laughs> whoa where'd you go <laughs> i'm getting sucked into the twister ma the reason we're going to use keyframes though is so we can control the animation curve um and if we need if need be we can always write our own curve and, you know we could just do that we could just you know that's the easy way to do it Yeah, screw that. Let's not do that. So now we have to get the video in there. So 
Do you have any code for me for embedding a Twitch video? <laughs> uh, I probably could. Yeah, give me. Okay. You include a specific script for their embed version, and then you pass a new script call into it, and you just tell it the height and width in the channel. Oh, this, this doesn't require uh, anything? No, Is that for real? You just tell it the channel. Yeah, embeds are free. Okay. The width and the height. Huh. <laughs> That'll be... Huh. Do we? You can do percentages for that. Oh, you know the worst thing is it's going to be this thing behind this thing? <laughs> like, should we just use somebody else's channel for now? Like, so we get... Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, just use someone else's channel. Do you want to use the chicken stream? Yep. <laughs> Our chicken life. <laughs> Give it. So it looks like we got it. I mean, that's that's like a home run right there. Really, you have to pay to freaking feed these poor little ducks or ducks. <laughs> ducks. Is he gonna eat? like? How much do you have to pay to eat one? Can I pay some amount to eat that thing? All right. So what did we figure out? We should be doing on this thing. We're gonna do a filter um, blur ten uh, pixels. Okay. So we just need to say opacity 0.25. Let me just switch this back down with Tim Greg. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to hit the, um, the scrolling section of the site. Now, what I want to do here is I'd love this to be parallaxy, uh, but I think parallax can always cause problems. So the easy way that I know how to do parallax, if you guys have a better way to do this, you let me know what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set that section to be fixed. Um, after we get the next section written. Thank you, Mirrored Bytes. Let me take a look at this code. Which, jeez. This is your bare minimum version? This is the code that you use to do a parallax? <laughs> That's a lot of code, man. That's a lot of code. Holy potatoes. This is 100 lines of code to throw parallax in there. I can't put this much in. I don't want parallax that bad. That is not bold. What happened here? Google, I said I wanted all the fonts. You did not give me all the fonts. Oh, it's font weight 700 with numbers anyways. There we go. Cool. And then the color on that is going to go to that yellow. Nice. There we go. And then let's pad in the top. It's probably more of a section thing. Oh, why do we do this? Noah, why did we make this the design? This is going to be harder than what we just did up top. This whole crazy thing here that's impressive. This thing? Eh. Eh. This thing? Well, I mean, you could just export that as an SVG. I could, but that's the pansy way out. I think I'm going to try to do just the circles first. We'll do those first, then we'll add the line connectors second. Probably do Sir Wrap, and then... We'll have the, cir the actual circle plus the icon plus the label. We'll just see if we can get away with this. Oh, really? What did I break? We need to put the text outside of that. And I think we'll just work out those and then get the next ones made in a minute. Oh, that's perfect sizing. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, browser. So make real world software and then make high quality stuff. But this has a line underneath it. So we're gonna just throw a BR in there and then span this interior one because we're high quality people. Okay, so there's our icon. Now, what do we wanna do about that? We want it centered. So we have to text align center of the circle. Would that do it? No. So it doesn't wanna center. Um, we could justify content 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 center and there we go now it's right there that label it just decided this is where it wants to live look at that what are you doing over there label what's the point of this what is <laughs> is this where you thought you should be because that's not where you should be 
So this is going to be interesting to figure these out. I actually think because the, the way these labels work, they have to be absolute position. If they self-center before we get into moving them around, that would be great. How, why, why do you got to do this? Align, self, center, go. Center yourself. Go back. I don't want to have to make some stupid way to do this, but I will. I will 1000% <laughs> make a stupid way to do this. Really? So that whole time, the label had to be in there with a circle, didn't it? Yeah. Where'd that guy go? What are you doing down here, Broadcasted Live? You're supposed to be next to it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, let's, okay, well, let's it just play. wants to hide. <laughs> flex, and then flex direction row. There we go. Yeah, I, I, you know what's weird, man, is I'm I'm definitely a sufferer of, uh, I worked for a guy once a CD, and he's like, you got the divitis, because I make a lot of divs. And that's just my thing. Lots of divs, more divs than you need. So what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what's the matter? I'm the one maintaining the code, not you. <laughs> yeah. But the best thing is I had a job once where I was literally like a prototype engineer. It was awesome. I would do the work to get a product spun up. And that's sort of what we're doing now. Um, like, I don't know if we discussed this a lot, but the what I do for code is not what lives, or not what should live forever in the code base. Like I should just be essentially building the thing that validates the market and then let somebody else come in and- Yeah, exactly. You build the functional prototype. Yeah. Okay, so we need some spacing. The best way to space these out, probably the best way I know to space these out is actually just to give these containers some height. That was too little. We just broke it. There we go. Cool. Okay. This is me tweaking. I love, I love pre-process like animations to like show the little transition things. state. Yeah, it's amazing, that right? Is, that adds so much to it. It really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it like, it makes it worth the money. Yeah. I, sh I show it so hard. But listen, if you're going to spend money, if you got like 30 bucks to spend, spend it on pre-process. Oh, heck yeah. You know, I, you know, these connections, Noah. <laughs> let's do okay, these. Can I, can let's I, do can these I do ones the, the first. Cheaty way? No. Yes. Okay. okay. What's the cheaty way? Just tell me what you're. The cheaty way is. is I would make <laughs> the like way. there's a little JavaScript function or something that just puts like a position fixed div. That's like more work. That is more work than this is right now. Because what we're going to do is we're going to probably make squared boxes that do this. Then we can either do the borders of them or we can make like actual divs inside of them. So I'm going to start like, guys, I'm going to be naming stuff very weird over here because I need to get, um, and we probably won't be reusing these things like classes. We're going to hack right through this. Okay. That's what's about to happen. It's hacking time. This is the part that always gets me when you start getting into like the angled stuff and doing it with CSS. Blows mm. my mind times. Yeah, we'll see if it blows my mind right open. <laughs> I, don't really know. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this yet, man. I'm a little I'm a little concerned. The bar spots here are width one hundred percent, height one pixel, and then I should have a background color on them already. They're stuck right there. I'm just thinking of this connecting thing I gotta draw. That's gotta go and be taller and move through this thing a little bit better. So this little guy right here that connects. It's a little bit hard to figure this out in my head. I'll make sure it sticks off the side and I will collapse it real quick. I almost feel like we should just be working collapsed. Even though it looks gross. I think that might be the way. So now we need to get those hinges on it. There we go. Now it's just there. Let's make that yellow so it's a little easier to see. Well, it's not that much easier to see. Uh, we'll do transform <laughs> origin. Uh, 30 dig. Boop. Done. Ho! Oh, that's the stuff, Noah. That's it. That's why we're doing this. Just the angle. That's why I do it. That's why I wake up every day and want to code. I want to angle things. That's all I want to do, man. I like it. That's all. There we go. Okay, same thing for the other guy. Uh, we're going to repeat nope. all that code so it's really hard to maintain it. Uh, and then <laughs> just rotate it the other way. And then there we go. Okay. Great. Now we need a connector going through the middle of it. Pixel solid white. That's not where that's supposed to be. What are you doing over there? You crazy? Because we need some margin on that to push off from the other thing to connect it. You know, let's do this the easy way. There we go. 
And the good thing is like, as we shrink this down, it shouldn't care. Like we don't have to readjust it every screen size or anything like that. This thing is just eating up so much time, man. There we go. So that's in. There we go. And now the next one's going to be that angled piece right there. And that's a question mark. I guess it's going to be in this, uh, this next, this big group right here, which is actually probably going to be, need to be its own thing. Hold on a second. I'm going to put the other one in. I'm going to go, I'm going to go one past it, past the group so we can sort of make sure this works real well. And that should have gotten that one in. Cool. So I got to do that. Okay, good. It's that way down here. That's that's exactly where I didn't need it, need it to be. Yep, there we go. Oh no! It, like it just barely clipped that little box right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me! This is when you really know you're screwing up. You got oh, boxes yeah. to clip things out, and <laughs> are you screwing up or are you getting a website launched in one day? I think that's you're the. You're getting a website launched in one day. Yeah, that's right. Where is this thing catching width from, though? What is, what is, where do you feel like you should get width from? It's definitely getting it from something. So we're going to have to walk the width in too. Wonderful. Just one more thing. Jeez, what are we doing? <laughs> we're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that's not in the place we want that in. <laughs> that's not where we want that. Why did that figure out not to be at the top? So we have to say bottom zero. Is that going to be, oh, we got it. Okay, so what do we need to do now to make that come down? Just a little bit more. We need to get out Google. Could you imagine being the next person that has to work on this? And I go in, I say, like, I want all those lines to be changed just a little bit. Right. <laughs> that should be my test for... Well, we're not hiring any developers, right? Yeah. But when we do, we're going to give them this code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, say, and, say, and just give them some horrible, like, little changes that are just going to drive them wild. And then the right on this needs to come in just a little bit, even though it's going to be kind of pushing in to that sacred margin who cares if anybody gives me crap about three pixels we're done <laughs> we're done i'm gonna go be a doctor at least when you're a doctor you got malpractice insurance and stuff truth okay so why don't we just copy and paste all this because that's about how the night's going wonderful and it even has decided to render this a different way <laughs> <laughs> What in the world? Oh no, man. I don't know some days. Transform, rotate, 180. Yes, drag. do it. Beep. You should have seen that. You should have seen that. It was glorious. It was glorious. Let me do this again. Oh, that was beautiful. That was so good. <laughs> okay, watch. Oh, I'm gonna do that and then we'll just click over here so you so you can see the screen. Watch her go. Whoop. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, oh yeah, that's where I need to be. <laughs> Were we not going to do any animations up here, I guess? I mean, I would put the little, maybe just every once in a while, like a pulse. Okay, let's let's go back and hit that at the very end. Or we could do it right now, because yeah. I mean, we just got this, we just bango, bingo, bango this whole section right out. Okay, so you want to try for a pulse here? And just, uh, we could do a pulse, or we could maybe do, we could shoot out, like, every so often there's some line work that gets drawn in. Um, so we're going to give it this different dash array for the pulse. So we'll say the dash array uh, is going to be probably some big number first. Let's say 1500 and the next one will be like 10. That's a big old epilepsy warning right there waiting to happen. You wait. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> there she goes. There's the epilepsy that we... <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at this thing just go. Look at That's it go. Intense. Yeah. Check that out. Now that breaks my brain and I love it. Yeah, does it? Yeah, I love that. That's crazy. So that, can that's intense. Slow it down even more. Yeah, that initial flash gets you. That's so cool. How is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Okay, I like that. Screw it. Keep it. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is what I'm asking. Um, and let me just see one more thing. I want to see what happens if we tell it to slowly ramp up to 1500 after it's done its little crazy dance. Do your crazy dance. Oh, 
And now what we're going to do is we're saying slowly make these lines bigger. So over time, they're going to restore to that original size. I could watch this all day. This is the one. Yep. 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 And just like it's slowly getting bigger over 800 seconds. Because someone watching this is going to stare at it and be like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like checking their water and stuff. <laughs> Did you spike? Yep. Give me the mushrooms again. Oh, it's just so cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I say leave this as is for now. This has got to be this. This is this has to yeah. be this. This is leave the best it. iteration. Yeah. Just leave it. What a happy little mistake that was. We need copy. You want to write some copy? Yeah, we can do some copy. <laughs> do you want to write some copy? <laughs> I mean, I could. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let me. Yeah. Let me pull up a doc. Let me. Uh, yeah. So yeah. If, if you want to write the, the what we do copy for Twitch and YouTube. Anyways. So we got to write this little section here for career ops. Um, we do have the two job openings. We have production assistant and video editor. Uh, I'm a little worried that we're not going to put the job descriptions here, but we can figure that out tomorrow or something. This would just be enough. So again, we're not using this to hire people. We're using this so when people land on it, they're like, oh, it's a real company. Well, let's get into it. So this will be section. It'll be an interior section, INT. We're going to have an outer wrap and an inner wrap. That's going to be a little harder to figure out because it's going to have these, these things that need to go to the edge. Uh, there's a smart way to do this and a dumb way to do this. I think we're going to do it the dumb way because why not? So why don't we do the divs that we can see first, the content divs, then we'll we'll get that other guy inside of it. Okay, and then current opening. So we've got three things that need to go in here. Two of them are going to be job cards, and one's going to be just the more info guy. All right, I got I got I got three copies for both. You get so either you're going to love them or you're going to hate them. You did three options. I would have just taken yeah. one half-assed one. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I got, I got three options. It doesn't take much to make me be like, nah, that's great. It's writing. Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to do some other stuff to get that line in, but not yet. Um, I got to get this into place. So, what does this line up on? Oh, Craig, really? Okay, so I have to get the this, top of this, the X side of this, to line up with the baseline of this. I'm going to walk that in. Oh, you're doing my cheat. You're using the window to be the ruler? That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Literally what I do. Yeah. Oh, did you see? Like, I'm not even deep into a project, and Chrome is like, there's 10 things. Just so you know, there's 10 things. There's 10 broken things. We don't even have JavaScript in here. <laughs> there's 10. There's 10 broken <laughs> things, man. <laughs> okay, so let's set some of these things up. I think we made this one the same as the other ones, but these guys are just a little bit different. What we really need to do on this, though, because we have this left-right thing going on here, is we need to flex this. So again, we'll just do the justified content and this will split it over to each side, space between, doop. It kind of like gets it to both sides. We're gonna need padding on the other side, but I don't think it's 30. I think it's a little bit less. Why are you working in pixels? Because like, it works. Sorry, nobody asked that. So true. I just heard it in so the back true. of my head as I'm working in pixels. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried to use all those. I have not found another unit other than pixels that I like. Dude, that seems way too wide. That is way too wide. Look how wide that looks. Hmm. Right? Oh, you suck. You suckered me. Box sizing border box. Eh. That's what it was. Ah. Box sizing <laughs> border box, the rule that always just magically fixes crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because padding and stuff needs. It's so silly how it gets computed outside sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to need to round that, that guy. Border, top, right, radius, radius. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but shut up. I don't want to hear it. This thing's done. We just need to get that little line grouping in. Oh, what do we do? What do we do, Noah? Why do we give ourselves the... <laughs> so real question, do we need that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> do we need Well then do it. I mean, that, not much more I can say on that one. <laughs> yes. It's not necessary, but neither is this freaking thing up here it's like a mandala now right. religions religions will be formed <laughs> around uh, what's going on here uh, <laughs> look at it really oh it is good i can't not look at it uh, oh it's so cool this makes for great content okay let's keep going okay so we need to get the i mean the line group behind it i don't think it's terribly hard i think the hard thing is gonna be nailing it in but once we nail it once it'll be nailed in both places 
Because this line's probably like an hour away. <laughs> and this is a look at, as I keep looking at, like I'm sort of like, you know, like a gunfighter, like circles around the other guy. They're trying to size it up. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sort of trying to size this stupid thing up. You want to just SVG this whole thing? Yeah, just SVG that, but not the text. Yeah, because I think th this is what you're not animating this. Yeah, there's no animation. Yeah. Um, I would SVG that. Yeah, let's do it. Do you want to go directly against what we said not to do in SV the type two? <laughs> no, 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 no. The type's gonna be really. I'm gonna show you how easy this is gonna be with the type. Yeah. You're gonna be blown away because I got a trick. Now you're gonna be blown away. You're just gonna be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Well, my my trick would be a div with the background color to block and to match the background of the whole page. Bingo. Let's call this uh, uh the last hurrah. Last hurrah. Because this is the last part of the site that's complicated. <laughs> uh, we'll call this a last hurrah for the careers. Because <laughs> I think we might have to do this two times. Um, <laughs> the stroke is fifth. There she blows. That's easy peasy. And I will bring that down and into the space. Even though it kind of looks cool like as is, that's not hard to do. Anybody can right. do that. Let's make it hard to do. Okay. So as you can see, we kind of get this like full line here. What we want to do is in margin left negative 20 pixels they'll kind of like suck it back in but kind of give it that space this guy's a little concerning i think i need to change this over to an inline block like i'm gonna i just want to see if this is like a, like gonna work right we don't want this to be shocking we just want this to be like a little meandering yeah, just subtle yeah, yeah like a very subtle thing let's just see if they look yep let's uh let's do some let's make that a little bit cooler no 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 what do you think would look better here noah do you think it's like Longer lines, longer, more spacing. What do you think it is? I think probably just more spacing. I think the line, the line width is good, but I think just more spacing. Like that. Or is that too fast? No, I like that. That's nice. That's a good, it's a good pace. Okay. And for the other one, we could reverse it. So it kind of. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 The first one comes in like those. Yeah. Then the second Beautiful. one. Beautiful. Like that. We have fun doing this. Why is it so blank though in the middle here? You see that? Yeah, I think it's I think it's the timing because the gaps that we're putting in is probably about the They're same so width big. as the, the the box. Okay. I don't know, man. There's something about that I don't like. Like I don't know if I'm used to seeing the lines being there more or something. Like I want the lines to be there more. I think that's about right. Yeah. I almost wonder if we speed it up a little too. We could speed it up, yeah. Yeah, six seconds actually isn't bad. It's not bad. And, you know, what would be interesting too is if like if you moused over this, like you could like mouse over and bring the stream in and get the logo. That would be kind of cool. Hmm, what's the best way? What's the dumbest way? <laughs> Window, set timeout. Is that set timeout? I might, I might, like Maybe I wrote that wrong. I think it's function first, then the delay. Yeah. It's been a while, a little rusty. It did it. Um, it didn't get rid of the blur. Oh yeah, it totally did. Look at that. Oh yeah, nice. So now we just got to get rid of the the thing on top. Oh, inception time. So we got half of it doing a thing. That's what supposed to do. Look at all the mouses on the screen. <laughs> Look at them all. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Let's go. Such recursion. Okay, so what do we want to do? Set that up so you don't want to do that like right off the get go, right? Because then this is what people are going to see. Yeah, I would say maybe after like 10 seconds or so. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, yeah, so cool. It's so cool. Yeah. My computer is, the fans are kicking up to handle this. Oh, I would not doubt it. So it's going to do all that and then you're still going to have like this lecture a couple seconds before you can smack it. Cool. Yep. <laughs> look at it go. Ah, I love all like, the little mouses hanging out. <laughs> and all the mics start to move now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at those hats coming off. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, but then the hat goes back on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. This makes for horrible viewing, but this is oh, I love it. nine yeah, and a half hours in. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> all right, we're on the home stretch now. Uh, look at all those 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 Gregs <laughs> just going through. <laughs> this is too much for me, man. And then where to find us? Oh, yeah, at least we got this simple one. Let's fix Discord really quick. Blurple.
really? We're going Blurple? And you give me the CMYK code just in case I want to print business cards out. Thank. Thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> this has been a fun stream, man. This is like... Yeah. No, I, yeah, I agree. It's a good... Christy's out there like, are you almost done yet? And I'm like, this is so much fun. I don't want Home to be stretch, over with. Literally at the end. So we're going to do this kind of trick to make the whole thing clickable. Beautiful. I don't know if I love the idea of a link getting darker when you hover it, but that's happening. Yeah, it's a little funny, but it's okay. <laughs> we're in. We're in for it's it. It's not bad. It looks, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So we got Discord and then where to find us. Now we have these two column things. Um, I'd love to see your copy in a minute. Let me just get this stuff cranked out. So let me make this Twitch box first. And this isn't going to be easy because I am a dummy and I've used opacity for that instead of actually finding a color. Don't even care where these go anymore. Just putting CSS close enough. <laughs> just getting close enough for things. What? Where? Oh, no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just thought th this is it. This is when Illustrator decides. It's time. It's time. You've had enough. I know. I'm, I don't want to jinx it, but uh, we're both wrong on our gentleman's bet. <laughs> yeah. What if, what if, if we have not had a single like real? We haven't had a single We had one. to close it, though. We did have to close it and reopen it. So that's got to yeah, count for something. Yeah, but I don't think something. that counts. I, it's got to count for something. Um, half a point, sure. Okay. That's better than zero points. So I'll just leave that background color and then say this has got to be the actual Twitch color. Don't sue me, please, Twitch. I'll win. I'll win in court. I don't know how these people that like do their like twelve-hour streams without taking a break do it. I don't get it. Have you ever seen that where people are like twelve-hour stream, no breaks? Yeah, that's dumb. How do you <laughs> pee? Where do you go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not a good thing to do. Didn't even color it. Border bottom color. Six. That's the right color. Huh. Do you have to set this the color after? I'm thinking there's some screwy like order order of things I'm getting messed up here. Oh, I'm a dummy. I'm using the background. Of course it's not. Of course, we're not using the right color. Oh. Oh yeah. That'll do it. That'll do. It. Hey, it did the thing that we thought it was gonna do. It curled it right in. Perfect. Thank you. We're, we won one tonight. <laughs> Sweet. So now we got the first part of that figured out. Now the really hard part is. Um, the before is going to be a triangle and I'm going to just going to use a generator to grab that code because I'm not an idiot. Yep. That's it. Just a little eye sock like that. And then we'll see if that positions in probably doesn't. That's just decided to go over there. Okay. So let's read Noah's copy. It's time. So we talk about aliens, conspiracy theories and development stigmas. When that's not happening, we focus on ideas, experimental design and rapid prototyping for our projects. I like the first one. It's great. I like how it, it because it gets right into you. Like it, you're going to show up on the stream and you might see like us yeah, diving exactly, into some yeah. weird stuff. Like that first one, you nailed it. Like you must, that, that's that. I think that's because what that does is it screens people out. Exactly. Totally they're going to be like, what? Aliens? Yeah. Those things don't <laughs> exist. And that that's just not going to be tolerated in the office. <laughs> like, like I'm going to be like, if something happens where like some alien news comes up, I'm walking into the office and we're talking about it. <laughs> that's just if alien so news true. alien news comes up <laughs> like it like it comes up <laughs> like it's happening <laughs> like there's news being generated every day about aliens so we just need to do the one more of those for youtube and that should be pretty quick that should just be copy paste and then change should color. be um we know five to eight hour streams are tough to join so you can catch the highlights in the whole stream here maybe even special exclusive content you won't see at the stream Ooh. that's right it. that's I, know. The I like the last one yeah the same wavelength here man we're just yeah yeah do we just leave this <laughs> we're gonna have to do a little margin right uh we'll do a little margin bottom margin bottom okay so do we need a footer do we need a footer nah screw it i don't think we need screw it. it yeah okay yeah. do you want to do like a quick bubble um I, yeah just change your user agent and see what happens Looks, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Dang, man. We got more work to do than I thought. So didn't we say we'll just do the mobiles tomorrow or something? Like, yeah, we can do that. And not, yeah. And do all the responses yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. So what do we have to do now? We need to get this thing onto, um, 
build it in pre-process, put it in a yeah. repo. Yeah, and let me, let me, yeah, let's, it's already built, so we just need to get it. you're good. Get it, get it, get GitHub open. Yeah, no, there's like a trick, right, to init it through the, what, through, yeah. through this thing. Because what I don't like about this is it's got this local path and the name and you type it in and it's like, oh. Exactly yeah. right, yeah. What is this newer version? Why wouldn't you have just installed it in the time when you restarted, you dummies? Okay, let's just not use the web interface then. So we're going to go to the project folder. That's a nanobox folder for some reason. Nanobox. Git init. Deep. Okay, so there we go. We got the git repository initialized, I think. There she is. Okay, so we've got that. And now we need to get a repo for that to go into. Yes. <laughs> may, I, may I make one suggestion? Uh huh. Copy and paste your source files outside of this folder. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Okay, okay, you okay. Decide to wipe it. <laughs> <laughs> just in case it does. Could you imagine? Just in case. I would just be done. I'd be like, forget it. I'm going to go be a veterinarian. Get add dot. Oh, that's the thing that could delete everything. <laughs> that was the one. <laughs> <laughs> now you can now you can do the the yeah, git. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because it actually uh, has wait. stuff in there. Uh, yeah, I don't even. Let's do that. Oh, jeez, what's this? Why did it just give me this thing? <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> just, just hit just hit um hit a uh, colon. Why am I inside colon. of a DOS GUI? Yeah, now. yeah. Because this is like the commit message. So just do like a um, shift colon. Shift. Okay. And then do WQ. Aborting commit due to empty commit message. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And now what do All I right. do? All right. So now do git commit. Don't hit enter. Don't hit and enter. And space dash M. Uh, let's actually get some SEO juice on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Drag files here to add them to your repo. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna like that git file in there. Oh, don't do the git file. You get out of there. Yeah, don't use the git one. You're no longer inited. Go. First of all, let's do this again. Twitch TV. <laughs> Initial commit. Commit. Process. Why does it take minutes to process my files? What, is, what are you talking about, minutes? So now that this is here, uh, first of all, is there some sort of license I can attach to this that says, yeah, this is not takeable? Well, I guess there's no yep. license, so defaults to something, right? Choose the license yep, you want. Then, what is the one that says, yep. don't use it? <laughs> is that good? <laughs> don't use this. It's mine. <laughs> uh, yep. Commit that. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. <laughs> That's all we need. New site from Git. This is my favorite part of Netlify. See, oh, look real. how quick this is. Boom. I know, right? You want to use this account? Yep. Hopefully I know passwords for that account. Boom. Which one do you want? Let's take this one. Okay. Uh, what, yeah, let's do that. And then Omatum Studio. Great. We'll deploy that. Owner. Yep. That's my name. Greg Iwikijikajikol. Okay. So I got to point this sucker at Netlify. I'm sure I've got to wait. Yeah. We'll let, Cause we got to catch the dog. Yeah, that's mine. Suckers, you're not getting my money. Uh, we could not provision a Let's Encrypt certificate for your custom domain. Why not? Why not? Why would you not be able to do that? Is this an alias? Screw it, do it live, one minute. Let's get that cat involved. All right, let's see if it's up. Come on. Come on, how long is this gonna take? I remember when this used to take 48 hours. <laughs> now I'm just like, come on. Come on, it's up for me. It's up? It's up. Not secure yet, but it's up. Oh, it looks so great on my monitor. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me see, we'll verify the DNS, now we'll provision the SSL, boop. Oh, come on. We cannot provision a less encrypt. Why not? Verify again. Do it. Give it. Verify. Provision. Provision. Missing certificate. Of course it is. That's why I'm trying to hit the button. Of course it's missing it. <laughs> what is this? Netlify. Come on. Let's not screw around here. This is why you don't get paid money. 
What is going on with this? So they got both of these are working. Oh, wait, we got it. So I hit the buttons enough and apparently it did provision. So yeah. Okay, let's see if hitups is up. Boop. Yeah, baby, we got the, we got it. We got it. Nice. 10 hours, 26 minutes. We did it, man. Thanks, dude. Thanks I so like much it. for coming and doing this with me today, man. This was fun. Heck yeah, man. Heck of a thing. Getting something that quick. You know what I call this, right? What's that? Greg's one day build. Greg's one day build minus responsive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>